we're going to stamp today using our known place like home for for the holidays Halloween stamp set. I've chosen this guy here. I just took him right off of the plastic out of the package and stuck him to my acrylic square. Any any acrylic square will work as long as it's big enough to hold my stamp. I'm going to prep my paper with uh, my little my little powder guy here. This is going to get any static or any fingerprints I've already put on the paper off. You can't see it, but it's, do, it's doing it. If I didn't do that and I happened to touch this earlier, I would be embossing my fingerprint right on there. I'm also just gonna quickly go over my embossing catcher here, just to get all the static and fingerprints out of there. Now, just to ink up my stamp, I'm gonna use Versamark. This is a clear stamp pad. Um, it's nice and juicy. It doesn't matter what size my stamp is, since I have a raised pad, I'm just gonna stamp right over the top, make sure it's nice and juicy, lots of ink on there. And then I'm ready to stamp. This goes on here and like I said, it's clear, so you won't see anything. Just press it down, make sure it's firmly down. Won't see anything yet. I think we're gonna do it in black. This is embossing powder. It comes like so, and what I wanna do is just make sure I cover that whole area. And I can be uh, generous with it because I'm gonna shake the excess off. And you can see it's stuck right where the ink was. And I just kind of tap, tap to get all the excess off. It's sticking right to where the ink was. So we're gonna need to heat that up to melt. I've used this tray, I haven't wasted any. I've got a nice coverage on, on there as much as I wanted and I'm just gonna put the excess right back in my, in my jar. So I'm really only using little bits at a time. This jar will last me a long, long time. I use this for gilding flakes and little beads and sequins, everything, and I can save them and, and use more later. This is my heat embossing gun. I have it plugged in, I'm gonna heat up here. And instead of being in one spot, I'm gonna kind of move it around. You should be able to see the little pieces of embossing powder actually melt as I go along here and it changes a little bit. I keep moving so I don't burn a spot or get too hot going. Hopefully you can see that it's actually changing. It's turning into sort of a plastic, so it's going to be completely waterproof. I can gonna color these with combo markers over the top and I don't have to worry about it smearing or anything else. So that is completely embossed. Just takes, you know, a second to cool down. No smearing. It's actually got sort of a, a tiny bit of dimension to it. Here is the same guy done in gold you can see that it's actually got a metallicness to it. All right, we're gonna color in real quick with Tombow markers. So, let's do a good purple hat because everyone should have one. And this is on watercolor paper, so I'm able to blend a little bit. I have a good friend, Janine, who's an amazing watercolor artist with these combo markers. I, mine don't look like hers, but I'm still having a really great time with them. So using the blending bent brush just to blend them together a little bit. I'm just getting all kinds of colors in here to make them good and witchy. Some green. Green. This is not how I've seen it done on, but it's how I like to do it. I think it's neat. Then I take a blending brush again. I could also use a water brush for this. Anything clear and I'm just kind of blending the colors together and I think it looks cool. And because I've embossed this, I don't have to worry about the lines really. I can just go right over them. Let's give them some purple. Let's see, little color here for his cape. Little blend there. And if my brush gets kind of dirty, I can always scribble off to the side on my glass mat. You can do anything on these. I can clean that later and now my brush is ready for the purple. Let's see here. Just a little color in, blending that in. Got to get his nose. I think we'll just leave his beard white for now. Let's use our little tiny scissors and the coordinating die to cut this guy out. 
So I have some washi tape on here to hold them in place. Just place the die over here, about eye it where, it where it's even. So the die is just right on top of what I've just colored. Like I said I already cut out some bats earlier. I put those on here with pop dots, a little washi tape. This little Happy Halloween was also in the set. I just peeled, peeled this guy off, put on the Halloween. I only need one block and I can just keep stamping all day long. So I'm gonna use some pop dots and put them somewhere over here. Yeah, if I attach this to the bag of candy, I think anyone would be happy to receive it. Pop dots right on the back, maybe a third one. You can't have too many pop dots, can you? And these have just a bit of dimension to them, so it's gonna make them pop right off of the, right off of the card. Let's see, he'll go right here with his bat buddies. Yep. Only, oops, I forgot to get the backs off those. The only thing we need here is a Reese's peanut butter cup to put this with and I can give it to a friend. And you can see the embossing on all those guys, kept them nice, I just colored right over. Looks like I bought it at the store. Mm -hmm.